What's up everybody, welcome to another video. Today I have this Honor Magic 4 Pro. This is my current daily drive. Redmi K50 Pro, Realme GT Neo 3. This is my choice of budget smartphone. Vivo X80 and Black Shark 5 Pro. This is my current gaming device. Both the Honor Magic 4 Pro and the Black Shark 5 Pro got Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, while Redmi K50 Pro and Vivo X80 got Diamond City 9000. Finally, Realme GT Neo 3 in the center comes with Diamond City 8100. Redmi K50 Pro base variant costs 100 US dollars more than this Realme GT Neo 3 and today we are gonna check if someone can only afford to buy a smartphone within 400 or 425 US dollars then whether he or she should go for Realme GT Neo 3 or not. Well, at the beginning, let's quickly check the specification and price of these smartphones. Honor Magic 4 Pro comes with Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. This is a 8 plus 256 GB variant. This one got 4600 mAh battery. This one supports 100W charging through both the wired and proprietary wireless charger. This one costs around $850 US dollars in global market. Redmi K50 Pro comes with Diamond City 9000. This is a 8 plus 128 GB variant. This one comes with 5000 mAh battery and supports 120 watt wire charging. It costs around 530 US dollars in global market. Realme GT Neo 3 comes with Diamond City 8100. This is a 8 plus 128 GB variant. This one comes with 5000 mAh battery and supports 80 watt wire charging. But there is another variant which comes with 4500 mAh battery and supports 150 watt wire charging. This 8 plus 128 GB edition costs around 430 US dollars in global market. Vivo X80 comes with Diamond City 9000. This one is a 8 plus 256 GB variant. This one comes with 4500 mAh battery and supports 80 watt wire charging. This costs around 620 to 630 US dollars in global market. Black Shark 5 Pro comes with Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. This is a 12 plus 256 GB variant. This one comes with 4600 mAh battery and supports 120 watt wire charging. This is yet to be released in global market, but as I live in China, I can get a Chinese edition. In China, this one costs around 750 US dollars. Here goes confirmation that I have the correct smartphones and if you want, then you can pause and check the specifications by yourself. I need to mention I have already updated these smartphones to the newest operating system. All of these smartphones are fully updated and all of these 5 smartphones comes with Android 12 out of the box. Even if we won't run Antutu, let us use Antutu to check battery status. All of these smartphones are 100% charged and all of these smartphones are having similar 33 to 35 degrees Celsius temperature. Realme GT Neo 3 temperature actually fluctuates a lot. It's fluctuating between 32 to 40 degrees Celsius while other four smartphones are having steady temperature. Room ambient temperature is 28 degrees Celsius and this room is not air conditioned so there is no cool air blowing from anywhere. Well, it's time to close and to do benchmark. Let's check whether there is any other application running in the background or not and then open CPU throttling test. We are gonna run 20 threads for 10 minutes. I have left all the other options in default mode and activated prevent phone from going to sleep while test is active. Let's run this CPU throttling test and let's see which smartphone can process more GIPS or billion instructions per second and whether there is any throttling or not. Some people have misconception about thermal throttling. Throttling means if a smartphone need to drop performance due to higher temperature. But some people think higher temperature means thermal throttling. Don't worry about the color of the chart. It doesn't matter whether it's green or yellow. What matters most is performance. If a smartphone is running slightly warmer than the others and still can perform better than the others, definitely that's the best performer. Okay, I'm not surprised. It's all about Diamond City. Vivo X80 with Diamond City 9000 has managed to get the highest maximum and Redmi K50 Pro with the same chipset, I mean Diamond City 9000, has managed to get the highest average. 
even the minimum score of Redmi K50 Pro is better than the maximum score of Honor Magic 4 Pro. Realme GT Neo 3 performance is not only amazing but also a bit surprising. It has performed almost as good as Black Shark 5 Pro. Unbelievable performance. Redmi K50 Pro wins this segment with 305,000 average GIPS. Vivo X8T comes second with 289,000 average GIPS. Black Shark 5 Pro comes third with 288,000 average GIPS. While Realme GT Neo 3 got the fourth place with 276,000 average GIPS, which is incredible considering its price. Now I will give 20 minutes of cooling period. After 20 minutes, we will run Geekbench on these smartphones. Okay, I'm back after 20 minutes and it's time for Geekbench. But before that, should you check the temperature of these smartphones? Room ambient temperature is 28 degrees Celsius. Honor Magic 4 Pro and Black Shark 5 Pro both are running a bit warmer than the other three. Redmi K50 Pro is at 31 degrees Celsius, Realme GT Neo 3 is at 32 degrees Celsius, Vivo X80 is at 30 degrees Celsius. Okay, one more time, there is nothing running in the background, let's open Geekbench and run CPU benchmark. After that CPU throttling test, I hope Realme GT Neo 3 will continue to surprise us all with a great result. Yes, Realme GT Neo 3 has done it again. Better multi-core score than Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 based smartphones. Single core score isn't as good but competitive. Redmi K50 Pro has again won the battle with very good scores. Vivo X80 comes second and the third place is shared by Black Shark 5 Pro in single core and Realme GT Neo 3 in multi core score. At the beginning, I have mentioned I am using Honor Magic 4 Pro as my daily drive, but it's not performing as well as the other four smartphones. If you wanna know why am I using this as my daily drive, watch till the end of this video and you're gonna know the secret. Now I will give these 5 phones 30 minutes of cooling down time and then we will run 3 d Mark Benchmark. Before we run 3 d Mark the Gamers Benchmark, let's check temperature. It's all the same, like before, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 based smartphones are running warmer than Diamond City based smartphones. I will run 3 d Mark Wildlife Extreme Stress Test, this is a extreme test and this one runs the same test in 20 loops for 20 times and it takes around 20 minutes to finish. I prefer this benchmark test over any other benchmark tests because this one offers correct and valid information. Finally, Honor Magic 4 Pro has done something better than the other four. It has managed to score the highest in one single loop, 2634. Black Shark 5 Pro comes next with 2600, but while all the other smartphones have more than 95% stability, Honor Magic 4 Pro has around 63% stability. Both the Redmi K50 Pro and Vivo X80 have 99% stability, while Vivo X80 has managed to squeeze 4% higher loop score than Redmi K50 Pro. Realme GT Neo 3 has managed to score only 60% of what Redmi K50 Pro and Vivo X80 scored. This is because even if Realme GT Neo 3 has a very good CPU, it has a pretty weak GPU. I think Black Shark 5 Pro is the winner of this 3D Mark test because it has better FPS range 12 to 19. Redmi K50 Pro comes second with a range of 10 to 19 FPS. Vivo X80 follows with 10 to 18 FPS. And then Honor Magic 4 Pro with 8 to 19 FPS. Realme GT Neo 3 gets the last position, but Realme GT Neo 3 performance is way better than its real competitors like Vivo IQ Neo 6, OnePlus 10R, Oppo Reno 8 Pro. Okay, Redmi K50 Pro is the winner of this comparison, right? Definitely it is. Vivo X80 comes very close, but these are not flagship smartphones and there are a lot of features unavailable in these smartphones. That's why proper flagship exists and a lot of people even cannot afford to buy a Redmi K50 Pro or a Vivo X80 because they have 
tight budget. That's why budget smartphones exist like this Realme GT Neo 3. Actually, my winner of this comparison or this test is Realme GT Neo 3. This one costs almost 125 US dollars less than Redmi K50 Pro, but in real life performance, this one can compete with Redmi K50 Pro. Its camera performance is better than Redmi K50 Pro. Only the display panel isn't as good as Redmi K50 Pro, but in all other aspects, Realme GT Neo 3 goes toe to toe with Redmi K50 Pro. Well, at the beginning, I have mentioned clearly that I am using uh, Honor Magic 4 Pro as my daily drive. Why am I using this one as my daily drive? Because performance wise, this one isn't a very good smartphone, right? No, wrong. Benchmark actually not always show how a smartphone performs in real life. I can play games on this one. Camera performance of Honor Magic 4 Pro is better than Vivo X80 Pro. In general, Vivo X80 Pro is a bit better, but in some specific segment, Honor Magic 4 Pro is better. Also, display performance of Honor Magic 4 Pro is way better than its competitors. And most importantly, this one offers a very good battery life and supports 100 watt wireless charging. That's the most important part for me at this moment. Yeah, convenience. So different people have different type of requirements and based on different type of requirements, you have to choose or select the best product that meets your requirements. Don't just go for others words or don't just go for some glittery smartphones like Oppo Reno 8 Pro. Anyway, if you are looking for a gaming smartphone, then Red Magic 7 and Black Shark 5 Pro both are very good choice. But one more time, depending on requirements and personal preferences, you can go with any of these two. Okay, if you want me to take other smartphones and do a similar type of video, then please make a comment and let me know which other smartphones should I choose in my next video. Also, don't forget to make a comment and let me know which smartphone among these five that today we have tested would you select. If you have liked this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel, share the love, support honest content. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over, I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for, believe.